Now, how often do you find Waterfront Living right beside an MRT as well as a mega mall? So, Property Lane Brothers is here today at the Reef at King's Dock Show Flat. We're going to take you on a show flat tour. Now, let's head on in. Once or level two, you actually have height advantage. Based on your current uh, property portfolio, what is the level of risk? Now, so we're right here on the show flat location, which is actually located on the direct site uh, of the development itself. So before we head on in, we're going to go and show you around why people are actually uh, buying units here at the Reef at King's Dock. We want the waterfront view. So right behind me, uh, that is actually Sentosa itself. You can actually see the cable car line. You can see RWS, Resorts World, all these waterfront sea views that you get right here. Come along with me. So heading on in, actually right where we are on, uh, this in future will become uh, one of the parks that's located right beside Reef at King's Dock. So technically, you have a park right beside your home if you choose to be living here. Or if you are kind of like renting this out there, of course your tenants can enjoy that convenience. So you get waterfront living, you have the Vivo City Mall, you have Harbourfront MRT and you also get a park right beside your house. And also not forgetting the floating deck of facilities which we'll show you later once we head on in. But right now, I think you can just enjoy the view for the next 5 seconds. Come on, take a look. Alright, so coming back, just to share with you, of course, there will be some units, guess the premium facing units, they'll be facing towards your Sentosa area, so you get the entire waterfront views right here. So of course, the other facing that you get, uh, it's facing towards King's Dock itself. So you get the water body uh, of the King's Dock that's located right over here. So there are also one of the facing facing towards uh, Corals, which is the development that's right across from us. But of course, what you also get here is that the entire um, floating deck that we spoke of earlier, uh, that's going to be your amenities where all your pools and some of these jacuzzis are located. It'll be right on this water body itself. So with this facing, of course, you will be facing into Coral. So there might not be um, a far vantage view per se, but of course what you enjoy is the view of this uh, King's Dog as well as the pool view as well as the amenities right on at uh, this site plan itself. So of course right behind me on this other end, you'll notice this long bridge. With this bridge and park connector, it will traverse along the entire waterfront views right here. So from corals all the way past uh, reflections as well as Caribbean at Capel Bay and then leading you on all the way to Labrador Park itself. Right, so I think um, having waterfront living as well as this kind of amenities parked right beside your home is something uh, great to have. Right, so now uh, without further ado, let's head into the show flat itself to take a look. Right, so of course, once you enter the show flat, there's this viewing kind of like gallery here. It talks a bit about the history of what happened since like 1848 to 1975, all the way to the 1990s to 2000s. Right, so I think uh, not just having this uh, prime location here right at Capel and Harbourfront itself, we're also buying a bit of into Singapore's history because just a fun fact, uh, King's Dock used to be the second largest dock in the world at one point of time back in history. <laughs> So we're wrapping in a side model, okay, just to orientate you a little. So the entrance way into the Reef at King's Dock comes in from Harbourfront Avenue. Something a little different is that for the other three plots uh, for Caribbean corals as well as reflections, those all have a capital address. But right here, uh, we're along Harbourfront Avenue. It depends on uh, what you kind of prefer because having uh, exit from Harbourfront Avenue means once you kind of head out from your home, 
uh, at the traffic junction, you can actually make a left or a right turn itself, meaning you can head on towards to the right, it will be going to your city centre, the CBD area, and to the left, you'll head down towards the Pasir Panjang area, right? Because for if you're living on the other three condos, what you kind of have to do is once you head out, you're going to make a U-turn at the junction to head on back into the city, right? So I think that's something uh, great to have. So the entire uh, site plan has a lot of uh, greenery going on. Uh, it's this very verdant kind of a style. So a lot of large greenery. In fact, the Arrival Plaza has this green, for lack of a better word, I think it's like a green mushroom. Very cute. It will look a lot nicer in, in the real uh, thing once it's being built up, right? Then of course, we have 10 residential blocks. So they range from like two-storey villa blocks all the way up to 10 storeys, right? So I think why they have done this is they wanted um, more units on the development to actually enjoy the waterfront views. Right, so what do we mean by this is, for example, as we head on around this area, this is actually where the park is going to be. So where I was walking on earlier, on the outside, that's actually where the park would be. So it, there's actually a pedestrian side gate located right on over here. Right, so once you head on out, your kids can don't even have to cross the road. They can just come out and play at the park right over here. Right, so I think that's great to have. And then of course, it leads on to that bridge that we were showing you earlier as well that leads on to the park connector and all the way down you can cycle or just take a walk or jog along the waterfront coming to this side this facing is fronting towards corals but this is also where the king's dock is located and your facility deck with all the pools uh, there's also this very interesting thing called the marine viewing hammock so the developers have kind of engaged this marine biologist specialist to come in to put in like corals as well as marine life, some kind of marine biodiversity thing. So you can actually come, uh, your kids can kind of look at the fishes, the corals right on over here. So of course, I mean, living at waterfront is something that's synonymous with that theme itself. So I think that's why the developer has kind of placed this into the development. Of course, moving on to this facing, if you look at the blocks, like for example, block two, uh, it's one that's only two storey. So those are your villa block. Uh, but with that two storey, it allows the block at the back, at block 16, uh, the units to still enjoy the kind of like water front views towards the King's Dock itself. They've done it in this staggered fashion to essentially allow more units to enjoy the views, right? And of course, you have your King's Club over here. So that's your clubhouse, the King's Lounge, probably your studio room, and you see your gym and some of the other facilities right on over here as well. This entire floating facilities deck is actually floating on water. So when the waves or the currents kind of come in, you will get to enjoy that kind of a feel that you're like almost like on a boat. It's, it's not easy to get this because you can't recreate waves in a development that's not on the waterfront. So I think that's why one additional plus point of having a waterfront kind of development right here. If you have not seen our studio shoot where we dive a little bit more deeper into the unit layouts and comparisons, you can find the link right here. We'll put it right on top so you can click it. And moving on, uh, this is one of the tallest blocks at block 10. You also have a bit like a sky terrace. So you, I see like an alfresco bar, there's like a stargazing terrace, a sky dining as well as like a hammock terrace located right over there. Uh, what we also saw is the water tank is also located on the roof of block 10. Right, so this facing uh, where I'm kind of standing is actually overlooking King's Dock and your facilities deck and this is where Coros is going to be located as well. Yeah, so of course at Block 10 is located beside some of the more noise producing kind of activities and facilities like your tennis court. Yeah, I think it's cleverly placed and tucked in the corner uh, together with the playground as well as fitness zone and there's even like a pet scape. I guess that's for your pets to kind of go and roam. Uh, you can unleash them and let them run around in this area. And also something to note, along Telok Blangah Road, you also get another side gate that leads on to Telok Blangah Road, right? You'll find a bus stop once you kind of exit onto Telok Blangah Road itself. So easy connectivity. So in uh, Reef at King's Dock itself, actually about 80% of the units consist of one and two bathers, uh, but they actually have a one-to-one -one ratio of a car park, meaning every unit is assigned one lot, uh, which is actually something quite rare to find in the RCR city fringe areas. Uh, but what we think is that because most of the units here, especially the one bathers and maybe some of the smaller two bathers will all be mostly be tenanted out. So I think uh, car park space is uh, going to be very generous here. So that wraps up the site model. So right now, I'm going to hand over the time to Jessie. She's going to show you some of the show flat unit types right here in the show flat itself. This 
configuration that we are showing you is a two bader B4 layout, 764 square feet. Before we head into the unit itself, I think one main thing about limited spaces is really what you can do with all the storages and yet not compromise on the interior. So the good thing that you have here is a built-in shoe cabinet for you to put in all your shoes. Coming into the unit, the, you will first be greeted with your kitchen counter. So everything is actually nicely tucked in the corner so it doesn't jut out, it doesn't compromise your corridor at all. Over here, we have an integrated fridge. This is done by Miller. It will be provided for and I think for a two bader configuration, this fridge is of a great size. We also have a pull out rack for you so despite the height differences, you can still easily see what you put inside and also assess it. Okay, the kitchen countertop is made of engineered stone and it also comes with a compact laminate backsplash. I think something special to note about this countertop is really this tab here that you have because usually they come in stainless steel silver but for this, this is actually in matte black and also this composite granite sink from Blanco Over here, you also have a washer come dryer by Whirlpool induction cooker as well as the hood has also been provided for It also comes with a built-in microwave by Miller over here So overall, the whole design of the kitchen is really very well taught For people who like to cook like myself if you require additional countertop what you can do is actually over here is a wall you can do a foldable table in case you need to do your preparation over here and you can do your cooking over here. So along the foyer entrance as well as the living room is where you can find your ducted aircon so it helps to cool down the entire area faster. For a two bader configuration, uh, we can actually put a four-seater table here comfortably. What you can do is something like this over here where you can have a storage. This is where you can put additional shoes in case the one outside is not enough for you and also you can find your DB box over here. You can easily fit a 3 to 4 seater sofa or even an L shaped sofa and still have a good distance to your TV console. Now let's head to the balcony. So for this particular configuration, the balcony is trigonal shape. The developer will also provide you with a metal mesh curtain which is front facing so you still get a bit of breeze without affecting your privacy. For people who do not require such a huge balcony space, this trigonal balcony would be the best for you because you can still put a couch here, you can still read some books here and also enjoy the sea view. So over here, the timber flooring will be provided for and the configuration that they have here, you can put in a super single and also have a small study table over here. But the main point about the reef at King's Dock is really about the view here. You can also do up a platform bed like now and still have storages at the bottom. Over here, something unique about this wardrobe is that normally it is um, entirely opaque but over here, they put in a glass sliding door system and also that comes with a light. So it feels like a walk-in wardrobe feature. Mitsubishi electric aircon will also be provided for. Let's go to the bathroom. The whole bathroom is done up with top-of-the-line gabbard fittings as well as Bosset and makes you feel like a 5-star hotel over here. And also, it has been nicely done up with a marble countertop with a mirror come vanity set over here. For me, I personally really love mirrors, so what I would do is to flush out this entire mirror wall to wall and also keep on this cove lighting so that I will still have full vanity uh, cabinet for me to use and also as well as a big mirror. So something special about this bathroom is really this piece of glass here because usually it is transparent but over here they choose to use a dark grey glass so this will be the fixed panel and you will have a door that swing towards inside your shower area. Next, we will show you the master bedroom. 
So over here, you can easily put up a king-size bed and as well as two sides table. The layout they have shown you now, they actually put a vanity table over here for the ladies. And as well for the guys, you want to put your watches and stuff, you can put it inside the wardrobe. Uh, similarly, the same glass sliding door wardrobe system is provided for. You will have the same cove lighting that is provided as well as some pull-out drawers for you to put all your accessories. Now let's head to the balcony. So the balcony also have a same trigonal balcony as the living room. Okay, now we will head to the master bathroom. So you also have an additional storage here below the counter. We have come to the end of the show flat for this two bather 764 square feet. Now I will bring you to the three bather premium. If you're looking for a larger tree bather, there is a few options for you. You have a tree bedroom plus study as well as a tree bedroom premium. For the tree bedroom premium, there's actually CP1 as well as CP2. So the main difference would be the size of the balcony, the shape of the balcony, whether it's triangular or is it rectangular, as well as the position of this utility or universal room. So it will change how you may see the whole layout and what you can do with this addition. Room. Before we head on to the unit, uh, similarly there is also a built-in shoe cabinet for you to put in some shoes. Um, in case this is not enough for the ladies, you can actually come in. We have a long corridor for you. This is where you can find your DB box. You can also fit in with a built-in cabinet for you to put in more storage or even more shoes. Next, this is where you will find your kitchen. So over here, the kitchen is a really good concept because this is two rows of kitchenette for you. Over here, this is where you can find your integrated fridge. This is slightly larger than the two bather fridge that you have here. This is also done by Miller. So engineer stone countertop will be provided for. So the difference is that uh, it comes with a glass backsplash, whereas the previous one, it comes with a laminate backsplash. So similarly, Miller hood hot as well as the microwave oven will also be provided for. Over here, they have also done up top and bottom cabinets. They are all of using Bloom soft closing system, so you can be assured that it will last for a really long time. Your washer come dryer will be at this corner. It will be provided by Whirlpool. So over at this side, this is where you can find your powder room. And for big families with helper, this universal room behind me could be one of your helper's room. Oh, I think the reason why they change it into a universal room is because you can have this wine cabinet or even as a storage or display for you to put all your stuff. If you were to look at the layout for CP2, the utility room is right inside the kitchen. So if you want to assess this utility from the living area, it will be quite difficult. But whereas for this universal room, you can either assess it from the kitchen or even from the living room. Before we head to the dining area, I think nowadays it's really about having an open concept kitchen and what I see here is a really interesting one. So in case you want your kitchen to be concealed, you don't want any Yu Yan Wei to come out, okay, you can actually conceal it. Or if you would like a bar countertop, I think this is quite popular, you can actually have a slide up feature where you can have some wine with your friends. So for the husband, if you feel that, oh yeah, how come the smell is coming out, you can shut her inside the kitchen. <laughs> Okay, so for the dining area, it's great. You can easily fit up to a six or even eight table. You can put in an extendable table if you would like to. So one great thing about having a three bedroom premium, sometimes the three bedroom, they only add on additional bedroom. But for here, you will see that the living space is really enlarged and you can have a whole row of six to eight seater. You can put in an L-shaped sofa, you can put in your massage chair, you can have a good distance to your TV so you can do some sports, you can do some exercise, watch some YouTube and even do some yoga here. 
Let's go to the balcony. As I was saying, the balcony, um, there is two main differences in the shape. One is a trigonal shape, another one is a rectangular shape. So if you're looking for alfresco dining, you, you can put in a table here for you to host your friends. You can do some steamboat, some barbecue without any smell going into your living room. So another difference with the balcony is that for the other layout, the balcony stretches across the living room as well as two bedrooms. But for this one, you will see that the balcony in the living room as well as the master room room is separated. Both the balcony in the living room and the master room comes with an aluminium mesh up screen so it gives you a bit of privacy without affecting your sea breeze. So now I'll bring you to the first common bedroom. So the good thing about this common bedroom is that it comes with a bathroom on the right hand side and on the left hand side, this is where you can put in your built-in cabinet. So it's not jutting out and it doesn't compromise your whole corridor area. Similarly, this glass sliding door wardrobe system will be provided for. So over here, this is where you can put a super single bed as well as a study desk over here on the side. Over here, you can do up to put your books, your bag. You really get to enjoy this view without having a balcony. That's why you can chuck this bed over here. Now, let's go to the bathroom. So, it comes with consistent floor as well as the wall marble tiles. The countertop of the wash basin is made of engineered stone so you can be rest assured that it will give you better water resistance. As well as the storage over here, it's really huge for you to put in all your shampoos and toiletries. Over here, we have a mirror cum vanity cabinet for you. So in case like me, you feel that this mirror is not big enough, you can actually do up to a wall-to-wall -wall length mirror and still have this cabinet for you to put in your stuff. Now let's head on to the other bedroom. So similarly, I think the good thing about having this layout is that this particular bedroom faces the other side of the unit. So not only you have the sea view, you could potentially have the side view as well. Over here, you can put up a day bed or a study area for you to work from home. Or if you like to change it to a fully functional bedroom, you could also do so for your kid. You can put in a super single bed with a platform for them to put in some storages. You can also put up a wardrobe over here so they will also have some space for them to roam around the room. Now let's head on to the master bedroom. So coming to the master room, the first thing that you will notice is this master bathroom on my right hand side here but we will touch on later. So if you were to look at the size of the master room, it's really huge. You can easily fit up a king size bed as well as a two side table. You can put in your TV console here and also enjoy a private balcony. So this is actually one of the main highlights here. So since the balcony is not attached throughout the entire layout, you get to enjoy your own private space as a couple. So what I really like is that this wardrobe is actually nicely tucked at the side here so you don't have anything jutting out at all because it has been nicely blended into the layout itself. Now let's go on to the bathroom. So this master bathroom is also equipped with a marble floor and walls. The same marble countertop will be done as well. All the taps and shower heads are also in the matte black feature. So actually the good thing about having a matte black is that it looks really modern. So we have come to the end of this show flat. This is a CP1 1216 square feet configuration that comes with a universal room as well as two private balconies for you to enjoy the sea view. Now I hope you enjoyed this show flat tour with us here at the Reef at King's Dock with Property Lim Brothers. 
right? So if you want to find out a bit more about the stack analysis as well as some of the layout comparisons, do check out our blog as well as our studio shoot, right? The link will be right down below. If you enjoy such analysis and you would like to find out more of such new launch uh, show flat tour, do follow us and subscribe to our YouTube channel. My name is Jessie Lim. Mark Chan. Probably, Probably Lim, Lim Brothers. Brothers. As, as always, always happy, happy to, to show, show you the place. place.